coal. It takes an awful lot of coal to supply America's energy needs. And lots of coal requires big machinery to dig it out of the ground. Here at the Black Butte Coal Mine near Rock Springs, Wyoming, coal reserves are found fairly close to the surface, and strip mining techniques are the most efficient way to get to them. Their engineers use math to calculate the cost of removing coal, to plan how to get to the coal, and to determine whether a coal seam can be profitably mined. Let's see how the process works and explore the math involved in coal mining. We've probably got about 10 million tons total in this pit that we'll mine out before we're, before we're all done. One of 11 pits at Black Butte, number 10 is the most profitable with a 26-foot deep coal seam. To get to this coal, over 100 feet of rock had to be removed. And before machinery can haul it away, all that rock has to be broken up into smaller pieces. This was a successful blast, or shot. Experts had drilled 512 foot deep holes in the overlying rock, which is called overburden. Then four feet of a liquid explosive was poured in each hole, and the remaining eight feet was filled in with dirt and rock. The rock that's just been broken up by the explosion is called spoil. Now that it's in smaller pieces, it'll be removed by heavy machinery. In this deeper pit, a much larger machine is used to take away overburden. It's called a drag line, and it's really big. The strip mine sequence used here involves opening a cut. Overburden from the first cut is placed outside the mine. The open pit mine essentially is nothing more than a moving hole in the ground. What we do is we take the dirt that's out in front of us and fill in the hole that we're in right now and then we just reclaim as we go along. In the spoils that we've placed in with the drag line, we'll put dozers up on top and we will doze in uh, a slope and then we'll put topsoil back on, seed it, and then it'll be time for the antelope and the wild horses to run around. The pit will simply vanish. As it's mined, coal from each pit goes to a transfer area. These belly dump trucks can carry 150 tons of coal at a time. The 992 front end loader takes about nine buckets full to load one belly dump truck. The dump truck's load is dropped into a primary crusher and from there it's transported on a conveyor belt to the plant's main loading facility. Before being loaded onto a train, the coal will be crushed once more to the customer's specifications. From here, the train will carry Black Butte's coal to its customers. Holes this size aren't dug unless the engineers are pretty certain there's enough coal there to recover the cost of digging. This 26 foot thick seam of coal was worth it. A seam of coal two feet thick over 100 feet down would have been left in place. Black Butte's engineers have to calculate how much coal is in the seam and how much waste, overburden and underburden, has to be removed to get to it. The math isn't very hard, but in the real world, mistakes could cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Let's try a few problems and see how accurate you can be in your work. 